Hey there, sweet soul. I wanna share with you today a pre-bed yoga slash stretching routine. So something simple and effective. Something that you can come back to whenever you need to, every day if necessary, in order to unwind from the day that was, prepare yourself for the next day, and to really get a really deep and restorative night's rest. So to do that, let's start standing upright next to our beds. Inhale, arms reach all the way up, palms pressed together. And as you exhale, cactus the arms, bend the knees, lift the heart space. Inhale, lift up. Exhale and cactus. Moving from the heart space, slowing down the breath. Inhale. Last one. Bend the knees. Inhale, reach back up. This time, take the right wrist and hold on to the left, well, the right hand and hold on to the left wrist. And from here, step the right foot behind the left leg and then reaching up and over towards the left edge, looking up towards that right or the, underneath the right underarm. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Coming back to neutral and we'll swap sides. I'll face you so you can see a little bit better. Taking the left hand, taking hold of the right wrist, stepping the left leg behind the right, and then inhaling the arms go up and over towards the right edge as you look underneath that left armpit, rolling the chest towards the sky. Full breath in. And then full breath out, releasing back to center. So we're just opening up through the side bodies there. It should feel really nice. We'll do one more thing off our beds before we get onto them. So inhale, reach all the way up. And then as you exhale, forward fold. I invite you to bend the knees here as much as feels nice for you. So even though you've been moving all throughout the day, sometimes we haven't said hello or even woken up our hamstrings yet. So hinging down as far as you can, you can do so before you start to feel that strain. When you start to feel it, lift the belly button towards the spine, lift the, the sit bones towards the sky, the knees can still be bent. And from here, take the hands to the hips. Lengthening through the back of the neck, full breath in. And then if you choose to, you can forward fold or you can choose to stay here. Maybe if it feels right for you, starting to straighten through the legs. Keep taking the belly button towards the spine, drawing the navel in and up. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. Beautiful. And then we'll find our way into our beds or onto our beds. <sighs> so if you're anything like me, you might be a bit of a pillow snob. I like to have a bigger pillow that I can use as a bolster because it's the perfect addition to a pre-bed yoga routine. So we'll start in a child's pose. If you have a bigger pillow, you can rest it in between the thighs, toes touching, and then sitting down onto the heels. Inhale, lift the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, create space between the bottom of the earlobe and the top of the shoulder. Spine is long and strong. Inhale. And then as you exhale, start to hinge forwards, folding down onto your pillow. If you have it, it's really nice to be able to hug it. I've got to be careful not to put the microphone onto it though, because otherwise you'll get all kinds of sounds. You can come down and hug the pillow with the hands and the arms and come down onto one cheek or the other or you can choose to do it without a pillow or a bolster. That's always a beautiful option as well. The pillow or the bolster is just a little bit more supportive for you. So it's really nice here to just take a couple of conscious breaths, really spreading out as much as you can. Don't be afraid to take up space. You're not a burden in this world. And it's an honor. The world is honored that you are here. And I'm honored that you're here experiencing this lifetime with me. I know it's challenging and coming to a space like this where you're not near any kind of external trickery, <laughs> anything that brings you away from the present moment. So allow yourself to just feel and to acknowledge the day that you had 
all of the emotions, the sensations, and the experiences, the interactions that you had and that you encountered. Acknowledging how you showed up in each moment today without judgment. It's a beautiful space for reflection and witnessing our own behavior, our own psychology and workings. If you're not already too comfortable and asleep, because let's be honest, sometimes big days do that to you, walking back up, removing the bolster or the pillow if you used one. And from here, we're going to interlace the hands behind our backs, palms of the hands together if you can, not just the fingers, and then drop them down towards the mattress as you lift up through the heart space. Make sure again that the tummy's tucked in, belly button to spine, so you're not bananaing through the back like this. And you can choose to stay, enjoy this beautiful opening through the shoulders, or if you'd like to slightly deepen, you can lift the hips away from the heels. And as you keep lifting the heart space upwards, slightly draw the hands down. So it's not about coming into a deep back bend and hinging all the way back. It's about opening up through the heart space. Removing any blockages in our heart chakra and then coming back down. So hopefully you feel even just a slight bit more relaxed, calm, a little bit more reset. At any time through this practice, feel free to turn it off and jump in bed. That's the perfect thing to do. If you're still with me, you can come down onto your buttocks and take the feet out in front of you. So what we're going to be doing from here is taking the soles of the feet together, allowing the knees to splay out wide, but the heels, the feet are far away from you. So they're not in tight, close to you like they are in a Baddha Konasana, create a bit more space here, kind of like a fallen diamond, and then start to hinge forward from the hips. So I like to hold onto the ankles, the fingers on the bottom side and the thumbs on the top, and then using my elbows to push the knees outwards and to create some more space. Whilst doing that, draw the shoulders down the spine, lengthen through the spine and out through the crown of the head and then allow yourself to hinge down as far as feels comfortable. So depending if you've got a tight back, it may feel nicer for you to round a little bit. I've got a weak spine and rib at the moment, and so that feels really nice for me. Only allow yourself to curve like this if it feels good. If you're not too sure, stick with the straight spine. So rather than focusing on taking the head to the feet, focus on taking the belly button towards the toes. You can relax the head and the neck here. Maybe even sway gently side to side, allowing the left ear to move towards the left shoulder, back through center, and then across to the right. Coming all the way back up. This time we're going to do the same thing but with straight legs. Paschimottanasana, forward fold. Again, if you'd like to use the bolster, here's the perfect opportunity by placing it down on top of the thighs and the legs and then hinging forward as far as feels nice for you. Again, I've got to be aware of that silly little microphone, so I'll do it without it. Feel free to bend the knees here. Supported by the mattress, your body kind of conforms to the shape of the mattress or the other way, the mattress molds around your body. And it's a really supportive way, a really comforting way to do yoga because it's not about what it looks like. It's where we're reminded that it's what it feels like. Coming back upright and this time coming down onto your back. We'll find some figure four poses, stretch out through the hips a little bit. So taking the right leg to the sky flexing the toes towards the face, and then allowing the blade edge or the side edge to come across on top of the left knee and allow the right knee to hang heavy. So you should start to feel it in the outer right hip already. If it feels enough as it is, stay here, enjoy it. Maybe take one hand to the heart, one hand to the belly, 
or choose to do figure four, interlacing the hands beneath the left knee and hugging the left knee in towards the chest. Closing down the eyes, consciously lifting up through the heart space as you hug that knee in closer. Finding the breath again, allow it to be still, soft, deep. Enjoying the space between the postures just as much as the depth and the intensity of the posture. And then allowing maybe to straighten the left leg if you would also like a double hamstring stretch at the same time. So you're getting a stretch all the way up the back of that left leg. Releasing taking the feet out as wide as the hips, the knees fall in on one another like a little teepee, one hand to the heart space, one hand to the belly. Take two deep breaths. Maybe let out a little sigh, a little sigh of gratitude. Hmm. Hmm. Or a big sigh of gratitude. Last one, inhale. And then we'll swap sides. Taking the left foot towards the sky, blade edge on top of the right knee. The left knee moves outwards, option to stay and enjoy or start to hug the knee in. So this is supine, which means you're reclined, you're on your back, pigeon pose. So you're getting all the benefits of that deep hip stretch that you would get if you were on your front in pigeon without any of the weight and the harshness in the knee in the knee and the ankle joint. So it's a really beautiful alternative to any regular hip opener. If you ever find yourself with a knee injury or you find that it's just a little bit too much on your knees, always feel free to come supine and take this posture instead. Same thing, you can reach up and hold on to the back of the right knee or calf or maybe even the foot. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. And then releasing. This time taking the soles of the feet together, the knees out wide, allow them to butterfly open. Again, one hand to the belly, one hand to the heart. Supta Baddha Konasana. Two deep breaths. Mm. So if you're like me, your body's already begging for bed, begging for sleep. We're gonna take one more or a couple more postures. Really gentle, staying on your back, reaching up and holding the outer edges of your feet. And then I want you to allow the knees to move towards the underarms, pull the shoulders away from the ears, create space there. Allow the pelvis to be heavy, almost as if you're choosing to open up and try to push the sit bones, the very bottoms, well, the very bottom of your sit bones in towards the bed as the heart lifts up towards the sky. The feet of flex is if you're about to stand on the ceiling and then pulling down with the hands as you push up with the feet. You can roll side to side a little bit. You're a really happy baby. Or you might like to do what I do and start to straighten out one leg as you bend the other. So you get the inner side of your thigh here, a nice really deep stretch and then swapping sides. I've got the bolster in the way, silly me. It's still in the way, oh well. <laughs> and then maybe taking both legs out. So again, this isn't about getting ultra deep. It's just about doing something that feels nice in your body. I'm gonna have to move this to find 
a full posture and you can use your hands as weights on you can hold on to your toes you can hold on to the inner parts of your feet the heels the achilles the calves behind the knees or the inner thighs or if this is just too much and it's just a lot instead enjoy viparita karani taking the feet up towards the sky. And here's a really beautiful opportunity again to use your pillow or your bolster and place it underneath the hips. And this takes any of the pressure out from having to hold the legs up yourself. Now they just kind of stay up. And it looks weird, I know. You look at people doing Viparita Karani without a wall and I always think to myself, how are you comfortable? Like that doesn't look comfortable, but it is especially with the bolster or pillow. The hands can be beside you, out to the side. You can hug yourself, you can give yourself a temple rub or massage. So wherever you are should feel like a hug for the body. That's what I think yoga is. It's listening to our bodies, knowing what it needs and then giving it to it and being able to change what that is in any moment. So you could be in this posture and it could feel so good and then it could feel so nice to maybe start to spread the legs. Maybe to come back into happy baby here. Maybe to hug the knees into the chest and give yourself a little loving squeeze and hug. Anything, anything goes. Choose to stay or remove the bolster. And I'm gonna take or invite a mattress assisted shoulder stand, which might sound kind of funny, but I promise you it feels really nice, especially on the spine. So rolling onto your back, taking the hands to the lower back, and then taking the knees in towards the forehead. If that's not comfortable, feel free to come down onto the back and again, allow the knees to just hug in towards the chest. If it does feel all right, maybe extending the feet up and over the head into plow pose. The hands, the palms of the hands stay supporting the lower back or the lower ribs. And you push the hips up towards the sky so the spine isn't curled down like this. You still wanna remain nice and tall and long through the back. Releasing back down. Hmm. Feel free to now lay out, take up space. Stretch your arms away in one direction and your toes away in the other. Mm, big body yawn. We'll take a supine twist. The right knee hugs into the body and then allow the right knee to move across to the left edge of the body or the left edge of the mattress and then cactusing through the right arm, so a right angle at the elbow, look back towards your right hand. Twists are really good for rinsing and detoxing the body physically, but I like to think of it more as an energetic cleanse or detox. It's purifying the system and allowing yourself to squeeze or rinse out any of that unnecessary negativity, stress, tension, whatever you're clinging on to still. Hugging back into a little ball and we'll swap sides. Extending the right leg out, left knee hugs to chest. If you did the other leg before, just do the opposite one now, it really doesn't matter. And again, twisting across to the side, cactusing, 90 degrees through the left arm and looking back towards it. Coming back through center. One last time, knees to chest, wrapping the forearms around the shins, lifting the head up, the forehead up towards the knees, hugging into a really tight little ball. Squeeze every muscle in your body. Squeeze your hands, your fingers, your toes, your shins, your thighs, squeeze your butt, squeeze your belly, squeeze the back and the top of your shoulders. 
Squeeze your face, scrunch it all up and then release. Hmm. Take up space, find either your Shavasana, which is really beautiful having a bolster as an option here. Or you can choose to get in bed at this point, which is my personal favorite, with the bolster underneath the knees. Laying down onto a pillow, you might be like me, and I like sleeping with crystals. They change all the time, and sometimes I like them on my heart space, like so, just like that. And other times I prefer them hidden under my pillow or clasping in my hand, so up to you. Hmm. So take up space here. Shavasana is your final resting space or corpse pose. And it symbolizes death, corpse pose, <laughs> but death of the old, death of all that that you just released and let go of in order to be reborn and to wake up the next day, renewed, restored, ah, rejuvenated. Trust that you are a catalyst. You are a vehicle of healing, of light and of love. So as you choose to let go of all that is no longer serving you to make way for the things that will, to make way for gratitude, to presence, to hope. Allow the eyelids to become heavy. Allow the breath to rise and fall through the tummy, in and out through your nose and melting deeper into the mattress, deeper into the cushions and the pillows, the blankets with each breath. You may like to take one hand to the heart and one hand to the belly. Noticing the warmth of your hands, the palms against your skin or your clothing. Noticing the weight. It's like a weighted blanket holding you, supporting you, hugging you. Bring your awareness to the sensation of fully being here. Knowing how nice it feels to do some simple, gentle movements right before bed. And giving yourself a moment of appreciation, thanking your higher self for showing up today and for taking and making the time to gift yourself with this practice with these moments of presence. Thanking 
your past self. For everything that they did for you. Even the person that you were today. Thanking that person for everything that they did without judgment. For everything was done the best way you knew how. And each action or reaction was either an opportunity for growth and expansion or it was an opportunity for knowledge and education and being grateful for both of these just the same. Feeling free to stay here as long as you like. Take rest. Sleep deep. Dream well and enjoy a restorative, restful night. Or you can choose to gently wiggle the fingers and the toes, maybe stretching out through the arms and the legs. Finding your way upright and perhaps before you fall asleep tonight you would prefer to have a cup of tea. Maybe you would prefer to write in your journal to read a book, to burn some incense or some essential oils in a diffuser or lavender oil. Make sure that you read the label of the one that you have to ensure that it's okay to put directly on your skin. This one is. Some need carrier oils though. And I like to put some on my wrists, dab it up onto my neck. I even sometimes put some on my eye pillow, just from my wrist, just so I can smell that as I'm falling asleep. And some also on the soles of my feet. You may like to do the same. Again, finding the soles of the feet together, I find is the best way, rubbing it onto the soles of the feet and then gently massaging it in. So here you get the opportunity to give yourself a bit of reflexology, a nice foot rub, rub up into the toes as well. And then maybe massage with the whole palm of the hand, up the legs, up the thighs, down the arms and into the shoulders. And then finding your rest. Okay, good night. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Bye.